It's the unlikely friendship that stole hearts all over the world. Molly the magpie and Peggy the staffy. When Molly was taken away from his best mate by authorities, supporters from all over the world united, calling for him, yep, Molly's a boy, to come home. And guess what? It's official. He is. Juliet and Reese, this is the news you've been waiting for. How are you feeling? Oh, Pretty we're good. so relieved and excited. Yeah, we actually spoke with the Premier this morning, so <laughs> we're just, it's still all new. Does that blow your mind that you spoke to the Premier this morning? I mean, we're talking about a magpie. This has gone global and it's also become very political. <laughs> yes, Juliet was a little bit... Um... Uh, how would you put it, when she, when we got noticed, noticed that he was going to ring in a half an hour, Juliet decided to go and do her hair and brush her teeth and get changed and everything, but it was only a phone call, so she was a little bit, she was a little bit um, so nervous. excited and nervous. <laughs> well, I think this just goes to show how much um, Molly, the magpie, and, and Peggy, this relationship they have has touched all of us. Has it surprised you, the, the amount of attention and where that attention has come from? Oh, look, it has blown our minds. We can't believe it. Like, all over the world and the constant messages, emails, petitions. So we know you're going to meet with someone from the department tomorrow and then once you get the, this permit sorted and however long that takes, Molly and Peggy will be reunited. What will that mean to you? Oh, we'll be over the moon. Absolutely. It means everything. Um, we've got a few hoops to jump through. There's, going, there's a gentleman on his way now with some paperwork with some terms and conditions. Um, so we've got to agree to all those terms and conditions and then proceed forward um, uh, with, with, a, with a different type of permit than what I actually had in the first place. So hopefully that will clear, we'll get a better understanding tomorrow. And once we sit down tonight and go through all the, um, the terms and conditions that the department have put on to us, um, then, you know, we don't know if they're negotiable or not. We, we're not quite sure. We hope, we, we hope there may be some negotiation there, but um, we'll see what happens when we read it tonight and, uh, and we uh, speak to the department tomorrow. I feel like there's a, there's a fair bit of a pressure being applied at this point to ensure that Molly does come home. But I'm just watching Peggy there, who looks like she's hanging on to every one of your words, Reese. Um, how much is Peggy missing her, her feathered friend? Oh, look, um, she, she's been actually quite depressed. Um, it's almost like she's, she, it's, it's almost like she's lost a child. So, you know, that moment when they all come together, I can't wait to see the excitement in the house. Like, it's just unbelievable. You know, some days when Molly has gone and flown away and come back, they, they the, you know, you can't contain the excitement between the three of them to see each other. Well, 41 days is a long time apart. It's going to be such a beautiful reunion. We're so excited. Molly's finally coming home. Well done, guys, and we'll talk soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, and thanks for having us on the show.